All right, will she or won't she? Arizona Governor Jan Brewer has until midnight tomorrow night to sign or veto a bill that could become the nation's toughest state law against illegal immigration. The bill basically makes it a crime, a state crime, to be in the country illegally. That part you can understand. Here's where it gets sticky. The bill requires local law enforcement to determine someone's immigration status if they have reasonable suspicion that they are in the country illegally. That's where it gets complicated. The person then needs to provide proof of residency. Violators can be arrested and fined. So protesters and supporters of the bill are speaking out across the country. We heard from President Obama this morning at a White House naturalization ceremony. Our failure to act responsibly at the federal level will only open the door to irresponsibility by others. And that includes, for example, the recent efforts in Arizona, which threatened to undermine basic notions of fairness that we cherish as Americans, as well as the trust between police and their communities that is so crucial to keeping us safe. In fact, I've instructed members of my administration to closely monitor the situation and examine the civil rights and other implications of this legislation. But if we continue to fail to act at a federal level, we will continue to see misguided efforts opening up around the country. All right, CNN senior political analyst Gloria Borgia joins me now from Washington. Gloria, a, a poll that we saw so, shows that about 70% of people in Arizona support this. 30% uh, are against. 30% uh, of Arizona's population uh, is Hispanic. Uh, but, so it's, it's, a, it's a hotbed for this kind of discussion. But sure. what are the national implications of this? Well, it kind of crystallizes the debate. And you, you heard the president just talk about it because it gives the president an opportunity to say, look, unless we get some federal guidelines here, for immigration, then you're going to see this kind of thing, which clearly he believes has civil rights implications. Uh, it could spread all over the country. So it gives him an opportunity to say, this is why the feds need to step in, which is what lots of the Democrats want to do right now. Right. And so, so really uh, what it is, I mean, generally speaking, you wouldn't think of this as something a state would do. Uh, is it underscoring right. the, the, the need for a broader, you know, something really comprehensive coming from the federal government? Well, you know, this is what the Democrats say. But, Ali, look, this is a political issue right now. This is uh, something that lots of Democrats say is important for the future of the Democratic Party. Uh, their growth is uh, Hispanic voters. And let's not forget, they're heading into a very, very difficult midterm election. So if they were to propose comprehensive immigration reform that has a path towards amnesty, there are lots of Democrats say, who say even if they propose it and they fail, this could galvanize Hispanic voters to come out in the next election and vote for Democrats and actively against Republicans. In other words, get that enthusiasm right. in the Democratic base that they're so worried of losing. <clears throat> How do you deal with this, though? Because you, you need to appeal to a, a growing base and a base that's important to the Democratic Party. Right. Uh, but, but how do you do it while, while addressing the concerns of people who think uh, there, there's a vacuum of effective uh, legislation dealing with illegal immigration in the right. country. Right. Not only, not only that, Allie, because people aren't sure exactly how you go about solving the problem, but a larger issue for the Democrats, and this is sort of where the Republicans uh, come in, and I, I just got off the phone with a Democratic pollster who doesn't think they ought to do immigration reform because he said, we have to keep our eye on the economy. And during an economic downturn, you know, historically voters are much less hospitable yeah. to doing anything about immigration because they see this as people who are going to take away their jobs, yeah. right? Yeah. So this gives the Republicans uh, an opening here. And lots of Democrats are saying, you know, don't focus on immigration. Doing the banks and financial right. reform is great. Stick to the economy. All right, good, good uh, discussion. Gloria, thanks very much for being with us as always. Sure. Have a great weekend. Gloria Borger, sure. our senior, senior political too. analyst.